<laughs> all right. Well, guys, thank you for all the super chats, but you're going to need to keep those coming because we have a bail fund to pay for, baby. Yes, we do. We got to get Aaron out of jail. Um, from what I have read, I don't know if this is true. Allegedly. And guys in the chat, we may actually need you on this one. Uh, if you have any further explanation that I have not found. But as of this morning, the last I saw is that Aaron is not necessarily under arrest, but he is on the lam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> People have indicated that he is hiding in a cabin in the woods. <laughs> uh, because of revenge porn. Now, this has come up before where um, people talk about Aaron sending uh, Gino Bisconti as well. I don't know if there are other people or if it's just Gino, mm -hmm. um, but I guess he sent Gino nudes of Kayla Riccata without Kayla's consent. Um, now, I guess, at least my understanding as far as this goes, is that qualifies as revenge porn. Do I have that right so far? You have that right so far. <clears throat> now, the reason I know this yep. is because Aaron did it live on his show. This is the problem with Aaron. I, we talk about John and how ridiculous it is that he invokes the FBI and the LAPD and lawyers and lawsuits and all this shit. It seems insane. But if you look at Aaron's real life, it is constant legal battles because of podcasting, which is crazy to me that he has had this many issues with the law because he's running his mouth on his podcast. Um, so let's start with Johnny Crutches finding out the news of uh, what happened to Aaron. And this is very funny. Again, it's funny when you live in this world where like, you have to answer everything very seriously because listen to Johnny uh, discover what was happening. Uh, John, there's a warrant out. Go ahead. Sam V, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. And you know why I don't believe that? Because I don't. This is what's weird to me. It's, it's the, the world they live in is strange. Because, again, if, if Casey Day was here and he read a chat, like, I heard Craig's not here today because he's under arrest for all of the what he did to that guy's daughter while he was babysitting. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't, I never in a million years would think to respond to that. I, I don't believe you. Prove it to me. I, I, I doubt that that's true. Like that to me is a ridiculous world to live in to answer these things seriously. But that's what Aaron has caused where Johnny can't have fun with that because he actually knows it might be true. That's what's so weird. That's why he went silent. He doesn't, he like, if you see, a chat like we we got it um carl read a chat on wats a couple months ago when april got arrested he goes oh this person says april got arrested we had a good laugh you know but then more people kept saying we're like oh holy shit but the instinct to go no 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 actually i don't think that's true it's like either they're fucking with you or it is true those are the options it's right. not a debate you're having with this person right Support that because I don't believe it's real. If it's real, plenty of people. Wait, what? Uh oh, it seems plenty of people are chiming in. <laughs> it seems a like plenty of people. I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> ah, if, you, if that was real, I'd have, I don't know, 40, 50. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Where is Mikey's thing? Let's go back. Let's see. Um, What's this? Oh, shit. <laughs> Piles of documents proving everything they're saying. Plenty of people aren't lying. Oh, that's weird. I only have 30 people in the chat, and they didn't all get together to make up the same lie. That's <laughs> on Stearns County's website. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, so that was Johnny finding out. Now, I don't know what happens, but something interesting, uh, me and Carl talked about this because news broke right as WATS was starting the other night. Um, and you guys didn't believe it, right? Of course not. No, no. We said, prove it, asshole. <laughs> we, we, we like to yell at the chat. Right. It's very confrontational. Right. Um, but uh, Carl pointed out, like, I don't think 
Aaron would get, I think the maximum sentence was like three years or something like that. Aaron probably wouldn't get that. But uh, as we talked about recently, he is even just getting arrested or having a warrant out for his arrest. He is violating the probation he's on (laughs) for talking about his ex-wife. So there has not been a steel toe show that I saw. It was Rumble Friday, so maybe I just missed it. But it seems there was no uh, steel toe, um, which I predicted. Carl thought he was going to go live on Friday. I was like, he can't be that dumb. And unfortunately, he was not that dumb. I was rooting for it, but um, he is this dumb. However, this is uh, a night or two before this news broke uh, that there was a warrant out for Aaron's arrest. This is him talking about his ex-wife April's arrest. <laughs> this is what an unbelievable asshole this guy is. Now, here's what's interesting about this: the, these clips we're about to see. And again, I don't know if this is real media player on YouTube that provided me these clips, but he has provided me many in the past. Uh, real media player is a great channel. Go subscribe to him. Real media player on YouTube. He's a great man, a great American, and a great clipper of steel toe. Um, This might also be My Lost Interest or Doom or Stalin 19. I say go follow all of them because it makes it easier. Then you don't have to watch Aaron's four-hour show. Like, uh, we do have some goal clips that I'll be getting to. I had to skim through through four hours that horse shit for these clips. I did just double check. Uh, I'm on the Steel Toe Morning Show Rumble page right now, and the last broadcast was Thursday. Damn! So he's actually, this is bad news for the goal. Yep. And as DJ Electra just put in the chat, uh, youtube.com slash at real media player, (laughs) real media player is where you want to go for clips. Again, doom is also good. My lost interest Stalin 19. Sometimes I forget where I find these clips. They just pop up my YouTube and I am blind. Cut me a little slack, you know, Uh, describe things, you know? But real media media player is the cream of the crop. So stop yelling at me, real media player. I'm a fan of yours, and I appreciate what you do. I do like the the comment I'm referring. The only reason I'm talking about it that way is because it's funny. Uh, the real media player guy was like, "Hey, Mike, if you wouldn't mind shouting out my channel, like it takes a lot of work. I'm a small channel trying to grow." And then uh, people, I th- I don't know if they're just like gassing them up or they really believe this. The comments in response to that were like. You know, I notice Mike gives credit to other channels and not yours. <laughs> like, what are you insane? That's exactly what they're you doing. Think I've conspired with Doom to take down real media player. Mike's fighting big comments. <laughs> so go subscribe to all of them. I appreciate all of them. Um, but this is something one of these channels. I think my lost interest. If not, I'm sorry to whoever it was. Uh, that was uh, the John clips. Oh, good, good. Thank you, my lost interest for that. I, who knows who this is? <laughs> There's no way to find out. I've given him enough shout-outs. Uh, so Aaron was talking about April's arrest. Now, the reason I found this clip interesting, it, I found this clip before um, Aaron, there was a warrant out for his arrest. What's interesting to me now is to look at the hypocrisy. But just before I knew any of that, what fascinated me about it was what a just complete asshole he is and how unlikable he manages to be, which is impressive for a guy, you know, trying to be a morning radio show host. I usually hate your song talking, but you deserve this victory lap. I, Hey, let me clarify something. I, it is my lost interest. I do not see any of this as a victory. I see this as do I see it as a little bit of a victory? Oh, I don't know. Oh, you cheeky boy. Do you? <laughs> feel like do you see it? Do you see it as a victory, Aaron? Yikes. Certainly, certainly, Aaron, rooting for this. There was no karma involved in this all happening to you. You weren't behaving in such a way where you were throwing caution to the wind. Because you felt like you were winning over April and the Ricadas, that you just behaved however the fuck you wanted. <laughs> I'm sure that didn't lead to you getting in all the f- disastrous mess that you're in now. But it's good. You should be taking a victory lap because uh, a woman you chose to spend your life with, who you brought over to a drug den. Here's the big victory that Aaron is celebrating here. 
Aaron and his wife went to a home where there was swinging and drugs, and they both participated in those. They did mm-hmm. uh, Coke and Molly by Aaron's admission. They wife swapped. Mm-hmm. Aaron's big victory is that he stopped doing that slightly earlier than they did. Well, you missed you missed the Gatorade bath. It was a victory. <laughs> it was a big. It was a big win. Yeah. <laughs> They did their hot tub streams and all the really cool stuff that they did. And Aaron stopped in February. (laughs) And that's why he's winning. I don't know. I feel like that's the only part of me going for a ride. Yeah. Yeah, they're really, you know what? There are two Aaron's, man. You know, there's Aaron by day who's just a great humanitarian. And I walk (laughs) through life and I quote the Bible. And I impart wisdom on my children and you fine listeners. But then at night, I'm a bad boy who chants gay slurs and roots for the demise of April Imhold. Yep. And here is lawyer Aaron. This is truly disgusting. Dude. Right, yeah, this is first of all where Aaron doesn't understand the law, I don't think. But also... What it's it's crazy that this happened, and then a day later, there's a warrant out for his arrest. <laughs> She's only being charged with the drugs that were found immediately on top of her credit cards, which exactly those are her possessions. She possesses it. The cocaine that's on top of her credit cards, also her possession. If my hand is out and you put a cherry in, uh, on in my hand. By the way, me being fucking shit faced and trying to tell you guys legal shit should be the funniest thing you got. I hope everybody oh watches this and goes, "What a goddamn retard!" But we will. If my hand is. Don't worry, Aaron. And you put a cherry. <laughs> we got it. Cherry in it. Just because that cherry isn't part of my body doesn't mean I'm not possessing it. She had coke. What a on terrible her- analogy. <laughs> you don't think the cherry uh, analogy is good? The cherry isn't part of his body. Doesn't mean he's not possessing it. I don't know why he didn't just say, if I had cocaine in my hand, you know. Yeah, are cherries illegal? (laughs) I I don't know. I don't understand. The analogy was already there. The Coke was on her credit cards. Which, by the way, I assume any lawyer actually could argue that just because April was in the house and things got on her possession, like on her credit cards or whatever, Mm -hmm. that probably means she was cutting up cocaine. But I'm sure a lawyer could argue, like, She's in this house. Things got on her stuff. It doesn't mean she was in possession of the Coke. That's probably what her lawyer is trying to argue. I don't know if any judge would tolerate that. I don't know how much of a a legal leg that is to stand on. But the point is, it has nothing to do with cherries being in your hand. (laughs) It's it's all fake. (laughs) Uh, This is just sad. Yeah. Well, this is... And again, I titled these before I even knew Aaron was going to get arrested. <laughs> yeah, that's true. This is just sad on a fundamental level. You guys can see April is blinking like a motherfucker. Now I know what people are talking about. She was a blinky motherfucker. Oh, really, Aaron? That's so weird. Like when people would make fun of your wife and you would say that's not true. I don't know. Now that you hate her, you agree with them? That's why. Oh, that's so weird, man. It's interesting. It makes you wonder if all the people that shit on you, Aaron, are also right. That's kind of what that would imply, right? Imagine dating this guy after this. Oh, he. Do- uh, I don't know if it's this set of clips or not, but there is something where he's yelling to uh, SP, which stands for slam piece. Oh. He's yelling to her in the other room, and you can hear her respond. It's only a matter of time before she's on the show with him. In April oh, yeah. A new co-host, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Cole host, did you say? I, I, I think I did by accident. It's yeah. Coleman's new <laughs> Cole host, the Cole host. <laughs> um, yeah, so what you're watching here is Aaron saying, like, hey, commenters, man, I was, I was under her spell, but you were right all along. Well, Aaron, then I would ask, doesn't that mean they're also right about you and the e begging that you do and all the hypocritical shit that you say? And all this stuff they call you out for? Like, if they were right about April, why is it impossible that they'd be right about you? Because they're saying all the same shit about you, you understand. Today's purposes, I'm denying the motion uh, without prejudice. Uh Oh. Yeah, she's... 
Yeah, she's breathing. She's well, no shit. She's hiding the panic well, but it's <laughs> right. <there. laughs> she's doing the you know the basic function of life. <laughs> oh, look at this whore drinking water. She's breathing, eating the proper amount of nourishment you need in a day. And then the gall of this fucking floozy to breathe. <laughs> Aaron, I think you're grasping at straw. I've seen grasping at straws. Yeah. But never to the degree of accusing someone of breathing. I don't think I've seen her blink once yet in this video either. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you know she's just jonesing too, though, this bitch. <laughs> this filthy fucking pig. <laughs> My eyes are dry, but I'll never cave. By the way, what April is guilty of is being in a house with people, being in a drug den, essentially, where there were five children, uh, there were weapons. I don't know if they were all properly registered, never, but these are the accusations being thrown at April, that essentially she was uh, complicit in it because she was there. You know who else was there? I don't know, a month or two earlier? It was Aaron Imholt. <laughs> Yes, he was. He just didn't happen to be there the day they banged down the door. So I don't get why he's taking this victory lap. I mean, like, like Craig wasn't addressed by name in a lot of the Pizzagate allegations. But he's smart enough not to like laugh at them. You know? He was part of it. No, I don't think you so. You don't hear Craig saying like Hillary Clinton and all these people, you know? Sure you do. Ep Epstein's Island. Craig keeps his fucking mouth shut. You know? <laughs> gotta have my boys back, you know? That's right. She's, she's hiding the panic well, but it's right there underneath the surface. Oh, man, you're so, you're so perceptive, Aaron. You think the girl that is on trial is slightly nervous? How long were these two together for? Do you know? I don't know. Four or five years? That's wild. I'm guessing. I don't know the answer to that. But even but, you but marry April, someone and then you're going to do this? Like, that's fucking crazy. That's great. Well, it's also crazy. Like, they got divorced, what, four months ago? Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, it wasn't that long ago that you loved this person. Right. <laughs> you know? I understand. Things transpired. I, 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 I get why you'd hate her. You're watching video of her. And by the way, April is not like a career criminal, to my knowledge. She's gotten, you know, hooked on fucking coke, it seems. And now she's paying the penalty for that. She's 29 years old, 30 years old, whatever she is. Like, this could ruin her life. And Aaron's big takeaway is, look at her. <laughs> she's nervous. <laughs> yeah. No shit. Uh, Aaron, I've got a little news for you. I think when you are on trial for the revenge porn, there might be a few butterflies in your tummy. <laughs> you might be a little nervous. That's what's really gross and has you actually rooting for, like, I, I don't want anyone to go to fucking prison that shouldn't be there, you know? It's a waste of everyone's time and money and efforts. If Aaron doesn't belong in prison, I hope he doesn't. But then you, you see this and you kind of root for him to go to jail because he's like, look at her. Look at this. Look at this filthy pig. She's nervous. Yeah. I would think that'd be true of anybody in that situation. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> like, I, I just could not imagine doing this to anyone. She's nervous. Hmm. Yes. I'm very perceptive. Look at what I, Aaron Imholt, have diagnosed. The woman on the stand is nervous. Hmm. Pretty, pretty genius, you ask me. Yes, almost like she thinks she might go to jail. He is, uh, he is a, a drunk retard, as he wanted us to call him. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Aaron, you got what you wanted. Yeah. A drunk retard. That's sad to see someone. Hey, you seem broken up about it. <laughs> On the run? Yeah, I knew somebody else, you know? Oh, man, that's so deep. That is deep. Aaron, I'll tell you exactly who you knew. That is someone who was in a drug den doing coke and swinging with another couple. While well, kids I, watch. Well, yeah, while well, kids are downstairs getting coke in their hair, as Aaron would say. <laughs> Aaron, the reason I know all this is because Aaron told us and he was there. Right. 
I do not understand. Aaron, the victory lap that you're taking is that the police didn't knock down the door on a day you were present, which they easily could have. Oh, yeah. And to see them in this position, you're like, this is very funny knowing he's going to It's a weird it. spot for me to be in because I'm having this feeling right now as I see this where I'm like, I know there was a time in my life where I would have done anything to help her. Oh, man, and that time's over. <laughs> I'm going to smear the shit out of her now. Oh, man. You know what? That's probably what she's thinking she, when she you see her breathing there in court. You know, when you see that tell that she's nervous, that she's breathing. <laughs> that's probably her thinking. I just wish Aaron would save me. <laughs> but it's too late, bitch. <laughs> he ain't coming to save you. I see her now, and I feel no need to help. <laughs> oh. That's crazy, Aaron. I mean. Why aren't you helping her? You, you should. You should help her, Aaron. No, I mean, no, he should. Like, there, there's no need for him to help her. But he also doesn't need to tell us that. No one was thinking, like, why isn't Aaron helping her? I don't know. It's not his business. <laughs> but Aaron, I got to say, I don't think April's going to help you in this revenge porn situation either. She might actually come out and be like, he did that to me too. Yeah. Sorry, Aaron. <laughs> so I wish I could help. Yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame I can't help you. I guess, I don't know, do you reap what you sow? Does that mean anything to you, Aaron? I can, I can only imagine that his court case will be streamed semi like he's doing by a lot of people. This feels this feels like one of these guys, whatever channel this is, Doom or My Lost Interest uh, or Stalin 19, who are all inspired by my friend, Real Media Player, <laughs> at Real Media Player on YouTube. Uh, it's one of these channels. And I would have thought they would have to go way back into the archives. Like they would have to find something from three, four years ago to be like, hey, look at this. Aaron, this is funny. Aaron's rooting for this person to go to jail. And what do you know? Years later, he ends up going to jail. No, no. This is from the night before there was a warrant for his arrest. It's very funny how that works out. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, this is. Squirt- it does say, it goes back to uh, Carl when this all started, said, like, I think it's a work. Like, April and Aaron are trying to get attention. So they're making a lot of this stuff up. When you look at their situation, it feels scripted. Like this all happens. Like Aaron found out that April and Nick were getting arrested on Kevin Brennan's show. He does this random night. Like it all feels right. fake, even though we know it's not. Right. Sorry. What's the next one? Uh, scrimping. Oh, this is just humiliating. <laughs> He's just copying Patrick Melton, I guess. Why not? His, his arch nemesis? Successful. Yeah. Give it a whirl, Aaron. Works for me. Um, I'm not sure if my client is that a good day. April? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. Okay. Right. Oh, what a fucking slut. <laughs> what a pig slut. Did you hear that, Craig? She said, yes, Your Honor. She I... said, yeah. They asked her a direct question, and she said, yes. And then the gall. The unmitigated gall of this bitch to add your honor on there. Respectful, unlike Aaron. Oh, what a what a floozy whore slut. How dare she? I hope Aaron crucifies her for that. Both can be true. Both can be true. We'll see. Yeah, she's put she's putting on a good face. Ooh, she's scrimping. Copyright Patrick Melton. She, is that what that means? Hey, is that what scrimping is? Is that what scrimping is? Is that the face that scrimping is? Ooh, she's scrimping. Who are you getting in this air? Are you? Is that making fun of? I guess that's something Patrick Melton says. Scrimping. That was. I don't know a, if he performs it in this douchey a manner or not, but I believe that was him also talking to Slam Piece. You're correct. Yeah, she's in the other room. That is. Uh, I would be so uncomfortable if I was Slam Piece. Really? You think? Like, oh, if anything bad ever happens to me, this is the victory lap he would take? Yeah. Also, just why would we watch this? <laughs> Can you do this when I'm not here? Do it at your night show. Well, that's that's a good point, too. Yeah, do this when I'm not here. <laughs> but, like, if I found a video of the skirt, my, my lovely lady, mm-hmm. if I found a video of her taunting an ex-boyfriend like this, <laughs> I would be like, oh, oh, God. 
I didn't know that was in there. What did this guy do to you? Did he beat the shit out of you? Like, what? Why are you doing this? <laughs> he only said mean things. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand. <laughs> And now, listen, I understand there's plenty of reason for Aaron to be uh, have a lot of anger and resentment towards April, but the way he's carrying it out is quite gross. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, let's uh, hear him this, scrimping. This is the uh, the last of this section. Oh, oh, his scrimping is done. Yeah. Uh, but like, he, so he's like, oh, I assume scrimping means nervous. I think it was the face she was making. Yeah. So that, so when she said, when she was a- asked one question and said, yes, your honor. Oh, my God. How embarrassing for her, huh? Mm. I don't even like it being on this. Ch- if we could edit that out later. I don't even like that it's on this channel because it was so humiliating for everyone. Uh, real quick, uh, Rel's Wrinkle just mm. gifted 10 Blind Mike Project memberships. Well, thank you, buddy. That's very nice of you. Thank you, sir. And what you can do with those memberships is uh, you get early access to Why You Laughing. So right now, um, the next four episodes that come out are... Uh, Bill Cosby, the downfall of Howard Stern, the history of Opie and Anthony, and Norm Macdonald's Ridiculous. Uh, you can go watch all those early, as well as a couple bonus episodes that we've done over the summer. So check all those out if you're a new member. Look at all these new members in the chat now. Lovely. Oh, thank you, guys. Uh, but this is the last of the uh, court clips here. Oh, man. I, you know what? I hope he takes the high road finally here. I think he will. Good. Um... Your Honor, I believe the allegations are very scant in this case um, to the point that it would be inappropriate to have conditions of release on her. She's here on a summons. I don't know why we need to impose bail or conditions. Because she had cocaine on her cards with a bunch of coke heads, and she was one. And uh, Aaron, if I may, a bunch, a bunch of coke heads. Let me think about this. Nick Ricada, mm-hmm. Kayla Ricada, mm-hmm. they got arrested. Mm-hmm. Two doesn't feel like a bunch. I think we, in order for it to be a bunch, I'd like to throw another name in there. Just a shame no one else was with them at any point doing coke. <laughs> God damn. Three people. Well, three is a crowd, they say. So maybe it was just three. I feel like in order for there to be swinging, would have had to be a fourth at some point. Aaron, do you know anyone that might have been in this house with them? <laughs> Maybe a couple weeks earlier. Yeah, you know, you buy a bunch of bananas and there's always two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, this is a good, healthy bunch. <laughs> Aaron, you were there, you jackass. You were doing all these things. <laughs> now, you stopped, so I guess that makes you a hero. He started it, didn't he? I assume so. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know what happened. And my thing is like, except for it being against the law, <laughs> you're allowed to do coke and uh, you're certainly allowed to fuck each other's wives as long as it's all consensual. Go to town, baby. Have fun. What you can't do is then shake your head and go, my God, these these heathens. <laughs> oh, these look at these sinners. <laughs> well, they're all paying the price. For the crimes that they and only they have committed. <laughs> now, meanwhile, Aaron, not April, Aaron brought his children over there. That's right. But, you know, it's all April's fault, I guess. <laughs> and she was one. And, uh, yeah, that's why. Because the other two are charged with second degree fucking possession of an ounce of coke. Yeah, because you That's happen to why. leave. I don't want her to do cocaine <laughs> while she's awaiting an omnibusing for coke. You are to be booked on these this charge, and you'll need to make a. This is this is this has nothing to do with anything. Omnibusing sounds like a word that Chip Chipperson made up. Am I wrong about that? That's right. Like, it sounds omnibus- like something he's mispronouncing. <laughs> omnibusing on your back. <laughs> Into the courthouse in Candyway County in Wilmer. Any business day from the hours of nine to noon or one to four. And that's just for pictures and fingerprints. Oh, pictures. I'll dress up nice. I'll wear a dress. I'll do glamour shots. Oh, boy. Aaron, we played a video last week of you bragging about how nice you were dressed in court. Oh, yeah, that's right. (laughs) (laughs) You tremendous horse's ass. This is one where you don't need foresight to not be hypocritical. You just need <laughs> hindsight. 
It was a week ago. You were talking about those beautiful, beautiful shoes you were wearing. Beautiful. Oh, and that fresh blue suit. And even the haters were saying, my God, he might be the bad boy of podcasting, but does he dress good? Tasty. That man is scrumptious. <laughs> Even the haters were saying that. Remember, Aaron? And now you're shitting on her for dressing nice, I guess? Yeah, why not? Boy, what a bitch she is. <laughs> was that it for his... Uh... That was it for the court. Yeah. Uh, well, guys, do you want to hit a goal or not? One in the chat if you want to hit some goals. I say, guys, let's hit a goal. What do you say? Yeah. Super Chats, Venmo, Rumble Rants. Gifted memberships, uh, PayPal, Streamlabs, you know the deal. <laughs> so I was, I sent you these clips on Tuesday, I believe. Something like that. And then I said to myself when I was done timestamping them, I said, God damn it. I know what's going to happen. I'm going on WATP this week. Carl is probably going to have these clips. And then sure enough, that son of a bitch started playing them. And then as he was playing them, I thought, oh, I think Aaron did this more than once this week, <laughs> <laughs> which is nuts to me <laughs> that this happened on multiple occasions with this cocksucker. Now, it's possible it happened earlier in the same show that I don't know, but these are not the same clips that I reacted to with Carl. <laughs> um, at least not, we'll, we'll see. Uh, I'll call it out if I'm wrong. But I don't believe these are the same clips. So this is how bad Aaron's begging has gotten. If you heard me on WATP, these are different clips. <laughs> How's KNSI doing? KNSI was down 0.3. They need some help. They went from a 3.2 to a 3.7 to a 2.6 to a 2.3. He's I'm talking about radio ratings. So what's happening is Aaron is looking for a job in radio. It reminds me of like what we were talking about with Mutt. I don't understand these radio guys that still think radio is relevant. Like what Aaron has love Aaron, hate him, whatever. What Aaron has right now, I believe is more valuable than a AM morning radio show in St. Cloud, Minnesota. <laughs> like, I just think it is. I think you reach more people accidentally on YouTube than on an AM radio station. But you hear Aaron trying to get a radio job, I think because uh, things in the super chat world may be drying up. That need a little help, that's all. Anyone who needs a little help, come holla at you, boy. Uh, I'm but I th Aaron, I thought you were killing it. I've heard you say that a lot, how you're killing it, how, oh my God, these haters, Whew. they don't have anything to talk about because you are winning every day, another win for the toe. Things are good at the toe. So why would you want a job in radio if things were so good? You said any radio station can hit you up? Anyone. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how successful, how many people listen. Uh, who cares? Any radio station, how at you, boy, as you say. <laughs> he, doesn't have, he doesn't have anything that'll pop up on a background check right now. <laughs> no, certainly not. Yeah, I'm sure a family radio station would love to hire this guy. Here to serve. That's all. All right, so nothing too exciting on the radio ratings front. Everything just kind of sitting there. That's shocking. The radio ratings in St. Cloud, Minnesota aren't exciting. It's not, <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a fervent battle. Everything just kind of sitting there. Uh, 170 away from today's goal. Go, 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 go. We can't lose today. We just lost on Thursday. We take too many of these L's. <laughs> Ooh, I don't even want to talk about it. Uh, Streamlabs, PayPal, Super Chats, Venmo. Let's get in there and get very, very generous and help this program not fail today. Remember, no matter how good the show is, if that goal isn't hit, we failed. All right, let's go to <laughs> Japanese and R-wording dolphins. <laughs> no matter how good the show is, we failed. Now, am I crazy? What's making me question it is, I remember that we were 170 away from the goal uh, on WATP. I like to think we're always like, it's Aaron's show, but we're all 170 away from the goal, you know? Mm -hmm. 
So on WATP, we were 170 away from the goal. So I'm like, am I wrong here? Are these two different shows? Because these are different clips, at least, that we're playing, where Aaron is like, guys, we're in dire straits. I feel like it's always 170. It's There's a couple numbers that we hit. Almost like Aaron kind of gets the same amount of donations every day. Yeah, it's 170, then 130. It's crazy that it's the same every day, and yet it's always a fight to the finish. That's right. All right, so let's hear. Right. Maybe it'll jog my memory. But guys, let me know uh, if you caught me on WATP. These are different clips, which is nuts to me. It's still 170 away from today. To believe you me, I've got one eye on that, one eye on the clock, and uh, trying to do some content. So if you want to throw us some money, half hour, we got to get this 170 knocked out. I we can't lose twice in a one week period. That's pretty much shoots us in the ass for the month. <laughs> and uh, he said. That- he, this is where I, maybe maybe I'm I just listen to too many things where I'm getting confused. But he also said this on the other where he's like, guys, this ruins our month. <laughs> you are ruining August for me by not donating one hundred and seventy dollars today. Which also I don't understand. I, I don't know the books over there at Steel Toe. Mm-hmm. So if he doesn't get this one seventy today, why is his month ruined? Like, what happens? His kids don't eat. He doesn't pay rent. Oh, okay. Well, that is pretty bad, I guess. All things in <laughs> order. I think. I don't know. I didn't realize. Merch and shit like that. We got to take that out of our out of our W's. And if we don't have W's, what are you going to do? So, we, the, guys, the, the alphabet is only going to be 25 letters. <laughs> We're all out of W's. <laughs> Oh, no, Aaron. Don't do that to us. Al Venmo, Super Chats, Rumble Rants, etc. Everybody jump in and get this knocked out. Let's get it to a manageable number, boys and girls. Uh, 170, it still is. Let's continue to run through I these. I know when it's 170, it's a, that's an unmanageable number. Like, Aaron's hair is a mess. <laughs> He's unshaven at 170. Yeah. And then now when it gets down to, like, $85, he cleans himself up. He's like, oof. This is nicer. This is more. This is cleaner air we're breathing now. Oh, we have another controversial police shooting. Oh, good. (laughs) That's how he incentivizes you. He's like, guys, do you want to get to the next topic? Well, then you should donate. I now I like to think that people uh, that are watching this program um, probably know the topics they enjoy hearing me talk about, so they'll tune in for those. Uh, And maybe on occasion they'll say, you know, I like Mike. I'll stick around for him talking about uh, Doug Stanhope or Mark Marin or any of these other topics. I don't need to threaten you <laughs> and be like, well, guys, seems like no one wants to hear about Mark Marin. Hmm. <laughs> seems like no one really gives a fuck about Mark Marin because you pricks aren't donating. That's true. No, no one seems to want to get there. If you cared that much, you'd go watch the Tiger Belly clips I'm going to play. <laughs> You guys, we got to hit 170 goal by the end of these clips or else we don't get Mark Marin. You figure it out. D- j- fucking Aaron goes, police shooting. Hmm? Mm-hmm. You want to donate see- now? Want to see someone die? Huh? There's a police shoot. You definitely couldn't just find it on TikTok. <laughs> you got to watch me play it. <laughs> let's go ahead and check out this Oklahoma City police shooting. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's see if there's Sounds any like fun. For cops. <laughs> Cops just being terrible, terrible people. And while we're doing that, guys, throw in 5, 10, 15, 20 bucks. Let's get this thing knocked out. I'm, uh, I'm shameless. We need money to keep I'm this shameless. show on the air, and those goals need to be hit. We ask for the bare minimum to keep us on the air. Bare minimum. Bare minimum would be zero. That's right. Or like three cents. A lot of people do YouTube shows and make zero dollars. It's true. Is our boy, uh, I like that kid Dylan from somewhere. I've watched a couple of his videos lately. Uh, he was on for the goal. I like that guy. Mm-hmm. I call him a kid. He's probably 75 years old. Um, but I, I don't think his channel is monetized. Guys, go subscribe to Dylan from somewhere. I don't know that he's monetized. Our friend DJ Electra. I don't believe her channel is monetized. Go subscribe to these people. But the point is, they make videos. <laughs> the bare minimum would be zero dollars. <laughs> That's how much it takes to post a fucking YouTube video, Aaron. So you're just lying to your audience and pretend what you could do if you really like cared about doing a show and cared about your audience. If you don't receive enough of an income, 
you could supplement the income that you get from YouTube with another job. You know, you could invest your money smartly, perhaps. You could do you could find streams of revenue so that you don't have to beg your audience. That would be the bare minimum to me. Right. It's actually going above and beyond for these people. The people that have super chatted today, even if it's 99 cents, that's above and beyond what they have to do. That's what Aaron seems to not understand. He's like, guys, just do the bare minimum. Come on, please do your part. Help me. Go to Approachables clip. Guys, money, please, if you would. We need a money plane. We need you guys to drop it on us. 170 away from today. Uh, No, I am not taking rubber coasters and squeezing them like this to deal with. (sighs) Being 170 away with about 20 minutes left in the show. Pretty please. (laughs) <laughs> Drop us a couple of bucks. The links are going back up in the chat. Money, money, money. That's Pretty what we're right now for uh, broadcasting, broadcasting, broadcasting. Let's check out uh, Approachables clip while you guys team up and knock out this goal, please. You want to do 30 minutes of overtime? I want to keep my show going. If he was, I want to, but you guys are leaving me no choice. Ooh. Here's the thing that people don't know. If they don't hit the goal, YouTube shuts Aaron off. They say, no, no more. It's not like you're doing nothing for the next half hour and could just do a show if you wanted to. That was the saddest it's ever been. Well, here and guys, cr- people in the chat, please. Maybe I'm hallucinating. I do a lot of broadcasting. I watch a lot of these fucking clips. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm hearing things for the second time. I think these are different clips than Carl played, which is astonishing to me that a man could have this little dignity. <laughs> that he had enough to satiate two different men who want to humiliate him. <laughs> also real quick fun okay gifted five blind mic project memberships oh thank you buddy that's very nice yeah like i said go check out the uh, membership content see if you like it and if you do stick around yeah um let's see what do we got next here more begging <laughs> it, well of course that's all it is it's just we're, we're waiting to get to the countdown here of course our favorite part is the last five minutes but what i decided to do in this episode is go back a little bit Watch the last half hour and see how much he begs. And uh, he he did what he was supposed to do. Because now it's like a thing that like people will just go and make him sweat it out instead of just donating when they feel like it. <laughs> well, I've said this. I've said this many times. Aaron thinks that we want him to not hit the goal. Oh, contraire, my friend. No, 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 no. You're very wrong. We just don't want him to hit the goal too early. That's right. Because that ruins the entire show. What you need is that last five minutes, you Mm -hmm. know? If the, listen, if the Patriots just get blown out every game this year, who cares? Right. But if they lose every game in the last five minutes, I'm watching. That's right. Even if they're 0 17, because that's, it's interesting to see someone time and again just pull it out by the skin of their teeth. That's fascinating. It was just a few minutes every time away from the playoffs. That's what and I'll tell you, if Gerard Mayo, I'll tell you, I'll sure as shit tune in for the press conference. If Gerard Mayo every time is like, please, guys, <laughs> just, <laughs> ju- can you just win yeah. a few first downs? Come on. Some big chunk yardage plays. We're 30 yards away from the goal, please. <laughs> Uh, 160 away from Rodneo's grabbing Aaron Andrews by the shirt collar. (laughs) We gotta do something. (laughs) 60 away from today's goal. We got 20 minutes or we're fucked. Fucked. If you chip into the show, I would have fucked is quite strong. We're fucked. (laughs) I gotta tell you, like, we now have a pretty regular audience. We're still, you know, small and mighty compared to uh, other YouTube channels. Good. But like when we started, fucking no one was watching episodes. Mm-hmm. And never once did I feel like we were fucked. <laughs> like that seems like a pretty hopeless feeling. What yeah. you do is you think like, hey, I'm going to keep doing a good show. Hopefully gr- find different ways to grow the show go on different podcasts, maybe promote it, talk about things that uh, new people might be interested in checking out. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, like I I noticed uh, we talked about Are You Garbage last week, something we don't usually talk about, but I'm interested in it. 
And a lot of new people found the channel. And a couple said, hey, never heard of you guys. I subscribed. Uh, I want to check out more stuff. Aaron, maybe do that if you feel fucked. (laughs) Instead of saying over and over again, donate! Donate now! It's not working, Aaron. (laughs) What can I tell you? August is fucked. We all know that. (laughs) We're fucked. August just bent over and took it in the shitter. That's right. So that we know. I'm saying in September, maybe try a new strategy. (laughs) Appreciate it. I feel like we've done a good job today, but I could be wrong. Uh, Let's not miss today. Please, pretty please with cherries on top. Uh, Get us down to that. Cherries on top. Uh Uh-oh. We know what that means. Now he's being extra sweet. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah, the cherry analogy. Aaron, yeah. who's in possession of those cherries? <laughs> Apparently. Yeah. Dude, you know, the begging in the goal is going to be so hilarious after he gets arrested because he's going <laughs> to pay for legal fees. Well, he's, he will say that. Guys, lawyers ain't free. You know, right. he's going to make like these little stupid jokes, but he will actually say that. He's going to try to tug at your heartstrings for his legal fees. <laughs> well, see. It was like 7.45. I was like, we don't have to ask. Then it gets into the 9 o'clock, and I'm like, wow, we really froze up. Now I got to be a fucking putrid beggar. I love reviewing the game, too. I, re- I really like breaking it down where you get a little peek behind the scenes, and you're like, oh, at 7.45, he wasn't that nervous. Maybe you can track, like, the beads of sweat rolling down Aaron's <laughs> forehead. Well, at, 7, at 7.45, he's, he's in pristine condition. He's totally fine. Now, if you look here at 9 o'clock, that's when things take a turn. 9 o'clock, we got four or five beads. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, it continues. <laughs> this is just a quick little... Uh, it can't possibly. Quick little guy here. I'll tell you why it can't. Because I was on another show that played clips of the same ilk. <laughs> There can't possibly be more. Oh, there is. <laughs> Let's go to this Tyrese Gibson clip, and then you guys, money, 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 money. Fuck, please. <laughs> Humiliating. <laughs> guys, I'll make a deal with you. <laughs> Mike, 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 don't. I'll do it. Guys, uh, I need to feed my kids and pay child support. So money, 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 please. Well, here's the listen. Don't let Craig humiliate himself like that. <laughs> There's a reason he's saying money, money, money over and over again. Because we're going to be good guys. And we're going to show you this Tyrese Gibson clip. <laughs> <laughs> so we're holding up our end of the deal. That's right. But you know what? Like Tyrese Gibson clips ain't free. Nope. And by that, I mean they are, because I've seen it. You can just watch it anywhere. It's on TikTok, YouTube, Twitter. Get it wherever you'd like. (laughs) Or you can watch Aaron make racist comments about poverty while he's watching the fucking... Here's what's great. Have you seen this Tyrese Gibson clip? Uh, The one with million dollars worth of game? Uh, I'm not sure. I I don't know what podcast he's on. Is it was it that? I didn't realize. It was one where he took someone's clothes. Is that the clip? That's the only one I've seen lately. No, no, no. So Tyrese Gibson was on a podcast and he talked about how when he was a kid, his mom, his mother would take him down to the welfare office and make him pretend to be mentally retarded. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a funny clip. It's like Tyrese Gibson telling this story. Yeah. Aaron's spin on it, and I think you'll get to hear a little bit of it. Aaron's like, isn't this so sad that they're leeching off the government in this way? Oh, my God. What money does to people is so ugly. Now, Super Chats, Rumble Rants, Venmo. Money, 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 please. <laughs> money, we money, money. Tyrese money. Gibson. <laughs> Tyrese Gibson. Uh, Sam Show says, the whole scene is pretty great. Black people game the stupid system set up by white people. White people seethe and don't get it. No, I, I agree with you. Yeah, Get these it's, dumb motherfuckers. it's those those no good black people. <laughs> Cackrat will have fun with that clip. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's a tough clip to have out there. Very clean. It's, oh, those sons of bitches. <laughs> now, let me get back to begging, if you'd be so kind. Pony up the dough, why the hell not? Speaking of ponying up the dough, we've got 12 minutes left, and we How are... How does he not? I mean... Out of it. 
When it's that close together, Aaron, how do you not smell your own hypocrisy? I feel like he might at this that's, point. That's crazy, Aaron, to, to crucify people about uh, gaming the welfare system and then immediately being a welfare recipient. <laughs> right now, 160 away. Guys, if you can throw some money at us, Throw some money at us because right now we're sitting bad. One sixty is the Aaron. Look at look at someone who gets welfare and is like, what a what a rotten piece of shit. That's a drain on society. And then when he you know leaves the welfare office and walks down the street and sees a bum <laughs> begging for your money, he's like, ah, a respectable American. I finally. I think I asked this, but I forget the answer. What does what's his goal usually set out at the beginning? 350 or 400 i think a day yeah <laughs> dude that's what it costs to keep the lights on yeah 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 <laughs> it does yeah the wind that's today. my electric bill is every day just so you guys know just from uh, every sunday uh it, it i don't know if your electric company breaks it down like this mine does they say every sunday mike you spend 400 dollars in electricity and uh, I say, well, I better hit that goddamn goal. Otherwise, they're going to turn the power off. Yeah, we just posted a loss uh, a few days ago. Really, once you post more than two L's in a month, you're talking about, uh, uh, you know, that's that's the danger zone for the old <laughs> steel toe. So the danger you, zone. Uh, a few <laughs> oh! <laughs> Not another loss. He was smart. He would he would run with that and just start playing that song when when it's close and they're not even <laughs> close to the goal. Guys, we're approaching the danger zone. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's well, and here's the thing. Again, my own like personal finances. If I wasn't able to pay my bills and stuff, I'd be like, oh fuck. I don't know if I can keep doing this as my job. You know, I'm gonna have to find other means of income. That I'm telling you what I would say privately or in my own head, not on the show, because it's not your guys' fucking problem. Bucks, that would be great. It's gonna have to be Beggy quite a bit uh here for the last 10 minutes. Aaron, it doesn't have to be, I gotta tell you. You're in complete control of that. Right. <laughs> he's he's acting like YouTube, the, the Mr. YouTube is like Aaron begging time. We'll take your channel away. You saw what we, did, what we did to Cardiff Electric. I don't think Aaron could handle that. <laughs> oh, my God. Looking good for a while, but I stopped asking for money, so it stopped coming. Click one of those links. PayPal, Streamlabs, Venmo, Super Chats, Rumble Rants. Oh, that was the problem, Aaron. You haven't listed those enough. I didn't realize I could just click one of these links. Oh. This, guy, this guy's name's Johnny Crutches. His, uh, his, his cohort, yes. Yeah, He's been here the entire time not saying a <laughs> fucking word. I don't know if that's Matt or Johnny Crutches, but... I think it's I think it's Johnny. It's in the same seat as uh, the guy who found out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's him. He hasn't said a word. It's just this guy begging for money. And he's well, just it seems weird. like the little I've seen of Johnny Crutches, I think he's kind of, like, humiliated by this. So I think he just keeps his trap shut as to not disrupt the bank. Because every once in a while, he'll, you'll hear him make a joke, and then Aaron th gives a dismissive, like, hey, buddy, it's not, this ain't time for merriment. This is not, jo this is not jocularity time. This is, we're begging here, all right? Stay out of my way. And I want to do 30 minutes of overtime today and uh, not have to reach into my own pocket to uh, keep this thing, keep everybody. Now, what does that mean? I mentioned this on uh WATP. What does that mean? Reach into his own pocket. Is he suggesting? Is Aaron suggesting that he could pay himself $350 and that would make the goal? Does he do that? That's what he's saying there, right? That's he's like, hey, don't make me reach into my own pocket. What would that do? <laughs> Then I hit the goal every day, as long as my bank account stays sure. the same. Why would I pay for my own lunch? <laughs> <laughs> he's reaching into his own... He's paying himself? I don't understand that. Maybe. It's very confusing. People have said that they think uh, 
he has been mystery donors of himself. Oh, well, that, yes. Yeah. But I wonder, that would be great if he was actually Venmoing himself or Super Chat. Like he, because, like, Super Chats, I think YouTube takes, like, 30% or something. Mm-hmm. Aaron's losing money <laughs> to, to make the goal. <laughs> oh, and so let's get this 160 knocked out pretty, please. If you got something to give us, it is begging time. Uh, we got about five minutes until we really get aggressive. Did you know that uh, there's... I one- like that he warns us, by the way. <laughs> I'm going to be disgusting and fine. Oh, shit. You know what? I don't want him to get aggressive with us. I better donate now. <laughs> I can't I can't handle being yelled at by this Yeah, uh, It seems... It, you know what? He said he's going to get aggressive, and it seems like he means business. I don't think he's fucking around right now. So I'm going to donate right now. Avoid that whole mess. I don't need the wrath of Aaron. No, no, no. See what he did to his ex-wife? Imagine a stranger. Aaron, we, uh, the, uh, jokes were made when um, Craig outed someone's wife for unsubscribing to our patreon <laughs> i i did it craig humiliated a family uh jokes were made that uh, craig will show up to your house right and interview you as to why you left the patreon aaron might be on the brink of actually doing that yeah. <laughs> fleck is dating rfk jr's daughter well, i want to hear more about that it's the end of the clip I want to hear more about that. I better donate. Shit, that seems pretty spicy. Oh, boy. Gossip much? <laughs> I c- Color me intrigued. Here, Aaron, is $150. <laughs> uh, uh, a tiny sum for the reward of hearing about who Ben Affleck is dating. You're not curious? You're trying to tell me you guys aren't curious? Oh, certainly I couldn't Google Ben Affleck, and it would be the first thing that comes up. <laughs> uh it's rally time mike yes oh do i love a rally hold on let me see if i'm ready all right let's do it uh professor tie-dye with five bucks jesus christ thank you buddy we need oh a- th- professor <laughs> tie-dye you are a lifesaver my man <laughs> what can you give with five bucks these days <laughs> no it's really like three bucks that's 350 true. or whatever it is because like i said youtube takes their cut that's true but uh, yeah you're right five dollars is barely a cup of coffee <laughs> and aaron's like oh yeah professor tie-dye you have saved me i thought august was ruined until professor tie-dye interjected now we gotta win today professor tie-dye with five bucks says i used to do case management in Hem- hennepin county and the system is jacked. The moment they go over the income limit, they lose every benefit. So there is no incentive to even yeah. seek part-time work. These worthless yeah, pigs. <laughs> the fuck Suckling off the government teat. Affleck is dating a Kennedy. You're right. The I want to hear more. Well, then I want to hear more about it. So let's shut up and hit the fucking goal. Thing is that you put these income caps on shit and then people only work to that level. That's the biggest problem I'm having with hey. disability right now is that I there's income caps, and the minute I hit one, something gets turned off, and I have to find a way Hold around. Yeah. This is interesting. There's a man who can actually offer perspective on this topic. He's disabled. Johnny not Crutches. Now, not now disabled, disabled people. We need money. money. Maybe they'll have an in-depth conversation about this subject. <laughs> or but not during goal time. Not during goal. Well, thank you, buddy, for the five bucks. It just moves right <laughs> on. He away. just moves as if Johnny didn't speak. <laughs> this guy just opened up his heart. You'd think we were playing a different clip. Yeah. And Johnny honestly tried to save Aaron where he's like, well, you kind of look like a douchebag. But but I live off disability. Like, I have a disability, and I'm trying to offer some perspective here. Aaron's like, shut the fuck. We're thanking Professor Tie-Dye, you worm. <laughs> <laughs> this is looking bad, dude. Guys, we need. Oh, what do you mean, Johnny Crutches um, having to live off disability? (laughs) He just confessed to you. (laughs) I just gave you something to talk about. (laughs) Oh, you know what? That seems like maybe close to five minutes worth of conversation. Or you could stare at a clock. Let's see what Aaron chooses. Yep, this is uh, the countdown, which means (laughs) this is the long clip. All right, guys, are we ready? I expect super chats, but not just super chats. I expect Venmo, Rumble Rants, PayPal, gifted memberships, 
Let's go. And if you want to be extra funny, make them all a dollar. Oh, that'd be a hoot and a half. All right, guys, it's begging time. I thought she was on the money plane. <laughs> uh, Shut up, Johnny. Shit. It's you 100% dickhead. begging time. Here we go. Thank you, Tigger Next Door. Oh, boy. For taking fucking pity on us. It's pity donos time with his 20 bucks. Says, guess the family won't eat tonight. Thanks, Aaron. Hey, you know what? It's a dog eat dog world. Try feeding them dog. Uh, 140 <laughs> away from today. Guys, we need to make a fucking move here. 140 yes, away from today. We were so good. What are you up doing? Until about 8 o'clock and then just kind of let it. Is, am I the only one hearing this clip, Craig, or is the audience hearing it? Everyone's hearing this clip. Well, then what the fuck are you people doing? <laughs> <laughs> Start donating to this cocksucker. He's got legal bills to pay. Super chats, rumble rants, Venmo. Let's move it. <laughs> Go and nothing. Uh, would you ever consider selling April's wedding ring for the goal? She has it. It's hers. Coltrane with a dollar says her name is Kathleen. She just goes by kick. Thank you very much. Uh, one hey, shut up is today's number. <laughs> shut up about the Ben Affleck topic. We've got a goal to hit. <laughs> stop, <laughs> stop interjecting. That was pre countdown. You don't bring interesting topics to the countdown. <laughs> We've got to win. MSO thinks he's got this shit in the bag. I hate oh, to say yeah, that's I always that's always the greatest. Guys, don't let MSO win. <laughs> Is this the nighttime show or the morning one? Mm, interesting. I think it's the morning. Does he start trash? Be like, dude, the nighttime chat <laughs> thinks you guys are fucking gay. Oh man, guys, you should hear. I didn't even want to say it because I think you're nice guys. The evening chat's having a little. Eh, let's just say they're having a little fun with you. You know, you. But listen, don't don't worry about what they're saying. I'm just saying, if you want to prove them wrong, maybe throw a few bucks. No, it's not. It's really not that bad. They're just having. They're goofing on you a little bit, but like they don't think you can cut the mustard. You know, they don't think you have what it takes. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't want to get too graphic. Uh, they talked about fucking your wives and dancing in your blood. But you know, if, if if you're if that's fine with you, if you're not really a man, then don't donate. It's no big deal. But I have a terrible fucking feeling about this morning and um, this month in general. Sorry, answer. Now, after because we got to get through this week, we got to. This puts a lot of pressure on the rest of the week to fucking knock these out. <laughs> One hundred forty bucks is the number. F uh, Guys, don't put pressure on Thursday. <laughs> oh, is Thursday just under a heaping pile of shit? No, no, there's a tidal wave of gold coming at us. <laughs> and just disgusting pandering. The rest of the week is under pressure. Psychologically, let's look at the, what that means. That means the same people that are watching you now, you're warning them that in a day or two, they're going to be under more pressure <laughs> because they didn't donate on Tuesday. That's what you're telling these people, Aaron. Pressure is what they're under. How do you oh think he? God. How do you think he feels not bringing in any money on Friday? That's you know what I. You know what I think about sometimes. I never thought this way until I found out Aaron and the the goal and all this stuff. Until I learned the ways of the goal, I never thought this way foolishly. But now I think of the money that exists. Like when you look at you know Amazon or Tesla, these companies are worth trillions of dollars, and I look at that and say. I don't have anywhere near that much money. Mm -hmm. You do a little quick math and you say the pressure that Elon Musk, he's not Elon Musk has never once donated to me. No. Nope. What do you think every waking minute is like for that guy? When he's like, fuck, if I, if I waste another day, then I got to donate to the goal tomorrow. And I have so much money burning a hole in my pocket. Like, what do I do? So when you think of the amount of money that exists, the pressure that they must feel because so much of it isn't going to Aaron. And that's just pressure that these dirty money holders feel every day. <laughs> it's left to go. Click the PayPal, click the uh, stream labs, click the Venmo King of all Yetis. I don't feel like playing a song right now about I mean, what this is business time. You <laughs> dick. I can't have fun. I'm begging. King of all Yetis is such an asshole. He's always trying to get Aaron to play content. 
<laughs> what a like a jerk. Terrible I am. Maybe I'll play it later. I don't know if you've caught the vibe the last few minutes. I'm very nervous. At yeah, the hey, there's. Uh, what do you think? This is a show? We're just going to play song? You think this is a comedy show, you dick? <laughs> this is like when you have to get, you know, you, you have time with your kids where you're fun and silly and something real is going on and they don't understand. Yeah. You're like, Daddy, come play with us. And you have to be like, hey, not right now, bud. Seriously, not right now. Let's not forget this a few seconds ago. Let's go to this Tyrese Gibson clip, and then you guys, money, 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 money. Fuck, please. You already didn't listen to him once. See what happens. Now it's getting serious. Hey, I'll play Legos with you. I'll distract you with Tyrese Gibson for a minute, but then I've got to get back to business, and you can't disturb Daddy while he's working. All right? fall on our faces today and have a shitty show and fail like again the show can sound good and people can be entertained by it uh to me it's more of a money in the miles kind of a thing this is uh, it doesn't make dollars it doesn't gross. make i don't know he's pissed at people for not liking him enough yeah, well that, that i mean that's the big thing is he's putting he's like well i guess it wasn't a good show because you didn't throw money at me which i don't know like I like Matt and Shane. I've never personally handed them money. I have. You know? I have. I I, I subscribe to their Patreon. Oh, well, there you go. But I am a grandfathered in poor, so it's only a dollar. Yeah, and that doesn't count to the goal either. <laughs> but it's hilarious. It's a hilarious amount of money. Well, I, guess, I guess my point is, like, you can be... I don't know. Is it, I've, I've been on a lot of Kirk shows. I've never seen anyone walk in and just hand them 20 bucks. You know? Um, Actually, that's... This probably happened, but no, someone someone sent in like a letter that yeah, had like hundred bucks. True. Yeah, I think I ended up with that. So, yeah, you know what? That's a good point, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it does happen. All right, I'm talking out of my ass. I apologize. John Stewart. That's right. He did hand me money. <laughs> then you handed it to me, and I handed. You know it back. what? I think Aaron's on to something. Let's hit this fucking goal, baby. Who am I to question it? Uh, this person writes in. I hope Ben Affleck doesn't relapse. Hardcore boozer. It's why the first gen left him. That's true. Uh, thank you very much. Well, Ryan. Really added a lot to that this conversation. All I got. I'm glad you read the comment. He's uh, he's checked out. That's true. By the way, is it? <laughs> That's true. I don't think I've ever heard that being the reason. <laughs> like Aaron knows them. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, anything fucking helps right now. Yeah. All right. Uh, five minutes to go. One forty away from uh, today's goal. Five minutes from fucking failure, and haters get to be happy today. That's for sure. Aaron, let's take. We a- want you to hit the goal. Oh, is that great? Is, isn't that so much fun? When at the last second, <laughs> this is us dealing with what April had to deal with. <laughs> it, dr- it would drive you to drugs. Yeah. I guess you don't want this tonight. <laughs> Drugs and orgies are the only thing that can get my mind off this fucking goal. Yeah. The only thing's extreme enough. Let's see. Thank you, Ryan, the garbage man. Uh, that's going to bring us down to 135. This is so right. from today. This is right. so We're taking away. Just having a guest on while you do this is gross. <laughs> well, it's his producer. Johnny like- Crutches. He is, dude. You know, imagine if like David Collins was on right now. We're like, David, stop talking. David, David, shut up <laughs> with your quips. <laughs> that was for before. <laughs> now we're in goal mode. David Collins, by the way, season finale had a very funny. Uh, I think Jerry was messing with him a little bit. God, fucking Jerry. Jerry put together a montage of all. It was supposed to be a reflection on season two of the David Collins thirty minute half hour show. And wouldn't you know, it was all clips of people praising Jerry. <laughs> that, Jerry's that, always, that he's always bastard. Up, he's always up to something. He sure is. He's a he's a scoundrel. Okay. Well, guys, uh, Streamlabs, PayPal, I don't really know what else I can say. It's been uh, rough going. Rumble Rants is what else you can say, dickhead. Finish the list. He would have hit the thing if he said Rumble Rants there. Where do I donate? Aaron, I don't have PayPal or Streamlabs. <laughs> I think uh, the message has been made pretty clear. Uh, 135 away, Streamlabs, PayPal, Venmo. 
Aaron, I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me, Rumble. let me clarify this. You think saying that over and over again for four hours, five days a week, sometimes twice a day, mm-hmm. you think the message is clear that people are allowed to donate to your show at this point? You still have the belief you got to like repeat your phone number 18 times on a voicemail so people can write it down. I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I say like, I say blindmike.net twice a sh- at the beginning of the end. Unless you count this, I guess. But <laughs> it being portrayed on the screen right now. But but I promote the show a couple times, and even that, I'm like, well, they probably know. But you're supposed to remind people. You know what I mean? Like just in case you remind people. Mm-hmm. If I did it 40, 50 times a show, I can tell you I'd be comfortable with one thing: they would know where to find me. Yeah. No one would want to because my show would be exhausting to listen to. Right. But I I would sure as shit know that they could find me, if nothing else. <laughs> Rants, don't worry. We've only got a three-show streak going. <laughs> yeah, dickheads. <laughs> this is, this. Oh. we are April. We are April. Eh, no big deal. It's just a three-show streak you cocksuckers are messing with. <laughs> That's what hangs in the balance. Don't you understand? What are you, what are you laughing about, dickhead? <laughs> Do you understand what's... At, at stake here? What aren't you getting about the severity of this? Three shows. He didn't do it once. He didn't stop it twice. Three days in a row, this motherfucker worked hard enough to hit the goal. And mm-hmm. you're all going to just wipe that away like it never happened? <laughs> he has to. You know what he has to do if you don't hit this goal? He has to turn around to his whiteboard and erase the streak. Yep. Do you know how humiliating that is for a man? I don't. We always hit the goal, so we wouldn't know. Oh, it sucks the life out of you when you have to end that streak. Sorry. Yeah, I know. Oh, believe me, I know. He knows. He gets it. I'm just begging for what I can get. That's essentially how it works uh, for this show. Has for years. Uh, Beg for uh, a W. Uh, Tigger next next door says, my time to... It's my time That part sounds familiar. Which is where I'm like, am I playing some of the clips Carl played? Because like little pieces of it sound familiar. Mm-hmm. Like the thing that caught my attention there that sounded familiar is him going, like, "Hey, that's how the show works. We've been doing it this way for years." Well, Aaron, he said that too. If your entire month is obliterated <laughs> because you didn't hit the goal one day, maybe uh, cook up a new formula. You know, <laughs> that's please, what I please, for the love of fucking God. <laughs> August is ruined. (laughs) That's such a great way to talk about things. Yeah. Like if something minor doesn't happen, be like, well, you've destroyed my month. (laughs) August is ruined. This is a major setback for September. Well, I'll tell you, September is already looking in rough shape because I don't know how many shows he's going to do. It's not looking great. (laughs) It's tough. Screw MSO. 100 coming in screw MS from the Tigger. So we got a, a pity fuck there. Thank you for the pity fuck 40 away from knocking out today. So we at least got the extended number to go to overtime. Thank you very much for the 100. Thank you. Tigger. Yes. Now we're finally talking. See what I mean? We don't there. root for Aaron to fail. We're getting there. Go ahead, buddy. We're close. We're within spitting distance. Very much, uh, Tigger. I appreciate that. Uh, let's go. Five bucks to Coltrane. Says over thirty dollars today, but can't do that daily. Pay up, people. He deserves to be paid for the work. What a guy. Thank you. Uh, then on Venmo, I, there's no way someone wrote that in earnestness. No, <laughs> there's no way someone seriously said, "Come on, guys. He des- he deserves your money for this." It's like thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh. Curtis with 20 bucks says kick Johnny can't stand traitors. What does that mean? Kick Johnny can't stand traitors. Apparently I'm a traitor. Oh, I'm supposed to kick you. Yeah. This is the part we did. We did talk about this on WATP where Aaron went on. I mean, I'm sorry. Johnny crutches went on some other show and shit on uh, Aaron mildly. I don't think you like really shit on him, but like jokingly. I guess so. I don't know their relationship really. It's kind of hard to tell. He called him gay. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I guess I'm a traitor. All right. Well, you fucking traitorous piece of shit. Next time I see you, I'm gonna You're give gonna you kick a, me. I'm gonna fucking kick the shit out of you. You understand? 
I'm going to kick that wheelchair out from under your ass. All right. All of a sudden, we're only 15 bucks away from today. Dr. Silverwolf renewing his membership says it's 1,156 miles to Georgia. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's cloudy, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. All right. Now we're only 15 bucks away. Look at how his mood changes. Thank God. (laughs) Get that ribeye. Guys, we're we're fucked. August is fucked. (laughs) Don't you understand the implications this has, not just for me, but for the entire month of August and the future? Don't you know the pressure this puts on future days to donate? Do you have any idea what you're doing? And then someone gives him a hundred bucks and he's like, yeah, we are cruising to overtime. He pays his rent with his Patreon. That's right. Isn't <laughs> begging paid off today? We're being rewarded for our uh, despicable behavior. We've got two and a half minutes to go and we're 15 bucks away. So let's do it. Come on, you son of a bitch. Go ahead and knock that last. All right. Well, now I'd say you're 15 minutes away. Now you can just start talking about other stuff, right? You have to, because you're doing overtime, no matter what, because those are the rules. If you don't hit the goal, but you get within 50, you still do. 30 15 minutes. 30 yeah you do 30 but they have to make it up to you right i think i, I have that right i believe so. i don't know there's a lot of <laughs> during that 30 minutes they owe you <laughs> the extra 15 dollars. you're gonna get the steel toe bylaws it's t- it's complicated yeah there's a lot of there are a lot of addendums <laughs> uh so, let's... it's very well hold on i just want to say it's very so there's two minutes left you're within 15 dollars. that seems virtually meaningless right yep in the grand scheme of things, like is the extra fifteen dollars gonna make or break his month? I don't think so. You almost gotta count that as a win. So move on. Let's let's start talking about Ben Affleck and uh, RFK's daughter. You know, right. right? Let's just start getting into other subjects, right? Why not? What do you say? Let's make everybody really upset that they came here to watch us miss it. Citizen M says we need our own haters oh. to exile Michaela from the Dabbleverse. Doxing cunt should be Steel Toe's number one enemy right now. No offense, Citizen M. Michaela's not even on my radar. She's a fucking nobody. Oh All I'm thinking God. about is this goal right now. Shut the oh my, fuck up. Oh my God. I don't know who Michaela is, by the way. I have no idea who this is that he's talking about. So my number one enemy, I don't know. When we're doing a thousand viewers at our peak, even when Meme Copium has a great show going. Oh my God. I can't really be bothered. Oh, Aaron. <laughs> You've accomplished a tremendous feat. Did you say mean copium <laughs> is on at the same time as you? <laughs> I, first of all, I refuse to believe that. No one could best mean copium, which I assume is a show he's referring to. Or a commenter. It's, it's very hard to tell. This is all very inside. I'm a little confused. But you're telling me, Aaron, that at your best, you have a thousand live viewers? I guess, I guess Mr. Beast's downfall is virtually meaningless for YouTube because there's a new sheriff in town. Hey, I didn't realize the star that Aaron Imholt was. Someone in the chat saying this Michaela person allegedly doxed Slam Piece. Oh, well, there's no need to do that. I don't like that. It's a miserable cunt who's never been happy her entire life. She's run herself out of every show she's ever okay. been associated with. Seems harsh. She thinks mm-hmm. the internet is real. It is. She's a fucking weirdo. What can I tell you? People it does are- exist. That's what I mean. It is a real thing. <laughs> the internet is real. <laughs> Mike, you want to know something? What's that? The reason we're talking right now? Fucking internet. Get out of here. Mike, it is real, folks. Wow. We've proven it. <laughs> kind of living in their own they've made their own hell for themselves get back to the goal you know again holy shit is this michaela person in this chat right now <laughs> is she i think so hello michaela don't dox people what are you doing you rascal come on i'm sure she'll give her side of the story <laughs> i'm not if she's here she's a good person yeah obviously honor Meredith with nine ninety nine. Thank you very much. We take seven of that. Oh, I can taste no the goal. Why do we, <laughs> we take go? seven of it? Nom, 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 nom. Why do we take seven of it? <laughs> see, that should be his new. When he's close, he should go money, money, money. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Why do you? I, I, this has been said before. 
make the goal higher. <laughs> so you, you don't have to do this on the fly math with reducing prices. No kidding. It's about 10 bucks away from knocking it out. What do you say? Oh, no, I no, mean, no. F- not about 10 bucks. <laughs> if we're not going to do the math, why bother with any of this? No shit. 15 minus 10 is 5. For some reason, we're only taking 7. So 15 <laughs> minus 7 is 8. We're not $10 away, Aaron. We're only 8. Get your fucking head in the game and let's hit this goal. Fire up, Johnny. He's waiting to see us get to zero here. Yeah. Damn right. All right, 10 bucks away. It was a fucking slog today, but it looks like we're going to do it. One minute left. Uh-oh. Pulling it out. Uh, 15 bucks from Katie says here. Yes. There we go, guys. It's over. And it's done. We did, we it. did it. Suck our dicks, Michaela. How do you feel now? You, you tramp dance. or <laughs> cope, whatever you need. Yes. Or don't come on, Michaela. All right, guys, there it is. Five bucks into tonight. Thank you very much. Michaela, I don't want to, you know, pour salt in the wound, but how does it feel to have the goal hit in your fucking face? Oh, <laughs> Michaela. You might want to utilize the microwave because the dish you're eating is quite cold. (laughs) I'm probably on her side anyway. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Aaron. So we hit the goal. That's exciting. Yes. You see, Aaron, it's about the journey. That's what you don't understand. You we can we can be appeased when you hit the goal. It's just about how you get there that entertains us. (laughs) Aaron doesn't understand the great product that he has on his hands, but Sadly, it seems we may not get a steel toe for a little while. Yeah, we have one more clip, though. Oh, do we? Yeah. Oh, is this him that. talking about the dabble verse? Yes. Uh, we'll skip it. I think Carl, it's Aaron being a dickhead. Got he's, it. He's, very, he's very jealous that he was uh, not allowed in the dabble verse. It's him shitting on the dabble verse, even though he tried to do a show centered around that, and he wasn't very good at it, so he left. And Chad and uh, fucking Patrick Melton have beaten him down over the last couple of years. It's just him sounding very jealous and petty. So, guys, money, 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 money. Fuck, please. Can we add that to the outro? Yeah, I'm gonna have to save this. We haven't had a good outro in a while. We gotta throw that in. Go to blindmike.net for everything. Blind Mike, look at me. I did it. Craigers did it. 